July. That means that we are already halfway through the year. And man, what a year it's been, as we know. So I was thinking about taking a moment and resetting for the rest of the year with kindness. And I've got some easy ways that you and I can do that starting today. Welcome back to Live Kind Today, and thanks for joining me to share some good vibes in your corner of the world. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that cute little bell so that you get notified anytime new tips for good vibes drop. We started off strong thinking about mental health, wellness, working from home, how to fight boredom, how to connect with others via technology. And as time's gone on, we all have gotten into our new routines. But it's really important for us to remember that reaching out and extending kindness is more important than ever. Let's check out some ways that you can care for others. Wear a mask when you're around anyone so that you can help protect them. Social distancing is critically important so that we can continue to reduce the spread of germs. Ask a friend to go for a social distancing walk so that you can get outside and you can do some socializing in person. Think about organizing some social distance meetups like sitting far away from one another in a park when you have lunch, sitting in your front garden far away from one another so you can have a cocktail together. Whatever it might be, there's still ways that you can connect with people emotionally and socially, but still stay safe. As you continue to connect and support your local community, think about doing things like painting kindness rocks and leaving them in neighbors' yards or by their front door. Connecting with the kids in the neighborhood to have a naming contest for a local plant or the fish in the pond, whatever it might be. Also, continuing to offer to do shopping for people that are feeling vulnerable and not comfortable or don't have the ability to go to the stores. And even leave some encouraging messages outside your front window so that people can see them as they walk by. I'm a big believer in caring for yourself as well as caring for others and that that is a huge part of kindness. So let's talk all about you. Think about taking a moment to review your New Year's resolutions or goals if you made them and recommit to them. Or as we're halfway through the year, sit down and think about new goals that you would like to achieve or aspire to for the rest of the year. Spend some time on mindfulness. Whether it's doing meditations, positive affirmations, prayer, whatever it might be, spend some time to get inside your own head and infuse it with some positivity. Engage your body. We're still all pretty stuck in our homes, so whether it's exercising or stretching, whatever it might be, engaging your body will actually not only help you physically, but also mentally. Dare to dream about your future, your passions, your hopes. And write them down so that you know that your dreams are real and achievable. Self-care is always a great way to restore. So think about anything from a bath to a manicure to a facial, whatever it might be that gives you comfort and is a physical connection with self-care. Spend some time and hug your pets. Educate yourself on local or global issues that are surging today. Whether it's the environment, feeding the hungry, 
Black Lives Matter, whatever you're passionate about, continue to grow and educate yourself so that you can take action and help. One simple thing that you can do is get out and vote, especially in your local elections. It gives you an opportunity to have your voice heard. Explore ways that you can grow, whether it's learning a new skill, expanding your knowledge base, learning how to communicate better, whatever it might be, your personal growth is a great thing to focus on during this time. Help clean up and take care of your community. Whether it's offering to mow someone's lawn, picking up trash whenever you're outside and you happen to see it, planting flowers or vegetables, being a part of keeping your community clean and beautiful helps everyone. Create a community library box or food bank. You might have seen them in other neighborhoods where someone just has a little box outside their house. You can take a book, give a book, take some food, give food. I encourage you to live your best day, share kindness with others, and make change for good in the world. If you found some value from this today, hit that like button for me and share this with someone you know. I appreciate you and you are amazing. So go out and live kind today.